I mean, on the, on the plus side, uh, the hay not turned out good. There's a lot less hay to pick up. Welcome back to Midtown, y'all. Gonna do a little service this morning. We have fertilizer buggy pulled out. There's a couple of small fields that dad's gonna spread. I wanna be top dress on corn. So we got it out of the barn. This is a uh, I believe it's a Chandler spreader, if I remember correctly. So we got to grease all these fittings everywhere. Got to get the jack back down, hook the PTO shaft up. Oh, uh, we're not running on this tractor. It's just a tractor over at the farm. So I got out of the barn. So we just got to check stuff. Grease everything, spray these chains good. Let that sit for a minute. Spray this up here. Have to check air and tires. I bet that one's low again. Yeah. She's low. Let that sit. That's how you start the morning off. Grease going out of grease. I'll be back. We got dad set up to go side dress corn. I need to go check on the moisture fields. Gotta put my stuff back up. Need to go do that. Because we got, man, it come a flood last night. I'm not sure how much rain we got, but we got a good bit. Coming up, it washed my driveway. So we'll go check fields and uh, go from there. Stuff from the trash in the field. Did get a pretty good bit of rain. Pretty good bit. It is soft. Pretty soft. It's pretty soft. We got a lot of grass in the field, buddy. Looks like mostly just grass. Oh, we got a few little weeds. I got a little, little pig weed. But we should be able to kill it at that stage. Boy, she is. She is soft. But down on this end of the field, it's usually kind of, stays kind of damp. A little bit better up here. Oh, me. Uh, I think we'll try to run it. Yeah. I think we'll try to run it. So I'll probably go eat some lunch. Give it, oh, you know, hour, two hours, and then come try to do it. <clears throat> And we'll see how much of a mess we make. And don't forget, we got hay on the ground too. Had that cylinder bust, or broke that nipple off the cylinder. Had to order it. I got a call check on that thing. See if it's even gonna be in. Plenty to do. Well, we decided to run them. And things weren't looking too bad. We'll uh, see how far we can get. Well, 
had a spray. We almost got a whole field done. We just got to go down, down to the ditch. But I figured we'd get right about here. So, get out and show you the checkerboard. So we got Rose running. This will be north to south, and then we're kind of going northeast to southwest. So you can see where my checkerboard crosses. It's crossing right through here. It leaves little boxes. So these beans will bush out. Should cover everything good. Well, we got 60,000 and then 60,000. They look pretty good. I gotta finish driving on out the field here. <clears throat> We'll get down to the other end. We'll mark it and we'll head home. <clears throat> so just got, I think, about five acres up this field. And maybe about four. Yeah. So we gotta go the other side of the corn. Well, the other side of the corn and hay field over there. Spray the long field. Yeah, it's uh, it's already close to five, right here. So I could go home, fill back up, come back here and spray some more. But I think I'm just gonna call it, call it early, early today. Well, by the time I get back and get everything set back up for tomorrow, it'll be a lot later than it is it for the day. You get expo bones like him right there, do not, and I repeat, do not fold them up while you're driving. Get them up, they'll cross the wrong ways and mess them up. Don't ask how I know. I decided to go ahead and spray today. That way I can probably, I should be able to be done spraying the rest of my lunch tomorrow. Then we can Mix hay baler, get messed that cylinder up, and talking to other people have cylinder balers. Nobody's ever had that problem with one dragon like that. I mean, it's a, uh, you got a new one in, it's an expensive part. It's going to be fixed. Finally, I mean, finally got the hard line in for this tractor. That's me. Two and a half weeks, he finally came in. And he was supposed to be in Atlanta two and a half weeks ago and be up here on Friday. Like I've told you before, we've been going to order Friday. It seems like, man, every week through May, we're supposed to be here Friday, and they not, they come the next, they show up sometime the following week or two weeks later. I don't know if y'all have trouble getting parts. I know we are. It is getting aggravating. Part of it though, one of the things. Aggravating is part of it. Welcome back to Midtown, y'all. Jesse's yes, about to go work on a bailer. He's got his boys with him. They come and get the service truck. That way he's got enough tools to fix it. Cylinder come in for that. Finally got the hard line in for the big tractor, but we ain't put that on this morning. We're gonna wait and do that. I'm gonna fill the sprayer up, go finish up beans this morning. And uh, we may or may not roll hay this afternoon. Oh, I guess I need to feed my calves first. We'll do that. Gotta get these things fed. That way they get nice and fat. So we can eat them. They're looking better. Probably oh four acres 
Let's this build a spray. We're gonna get down here and get squared back up to where we was at. Finish spraying that. And on this farm, at least, there's three more fields to spray. Two real small fields. They're about all two, three acres a piece. I think one's two, one's three, something like that. Get them two sprayed. We got another big, we got a big field that's small. It's about 70 something acres to spray. I was hoping we get knocked out from the lunch, but it's already 10 till 10. So uh, looks like we're beating many windies in the tractor today. But that's all right. And we might have to come down here on the pole and run some ditches too later on. We got some spots of water. Here in the hay field, and we got some spots of water in the field. Actually, the crop field, which is just like 50 yards to our left right now, it drains across this hay field. The reason hay field is here is to keep it from the road down to the woods. Oh, and it bends so wet that drives it, that, that brings it back to still running mills on the tractor spray. It helps keep the tractor up, and so yeah, the mills help keep the tractor up, and my sprayer set out wide. <laughs> so it's running the dual path anyway. We're here now. I decided to get through the back side of the field, take a look at stuff one more time. Down that little bottom, it's like four or five acres. Probably got some replant in it. I'm gonna give it a week. Let my spray do its job. Maybe those beans are just waiting for the water. Probably not. They're probably dead. Yeah, wish we playing it. And right up here in front of us, there might be another area that needs a little green plant as well. We'll do it the same way. We'll just uh, we'll give it a week. They come back and check it. And hopefully, I um, might do any replant. I calculate the acres on this farm to see if my insurance has made a replant. And uh, I'll need to replant at least 20, a minimum of 20 acres for my crop insurance to kick in. We got like 180, yeah, almost 180 acres planted on this farm. 170, yeah, 170, yeah. So I'll need at least 20 acres for pre plant. And I'm probably thinking there's. If we do that bottom, I'd be five, and up here would be another maybe acre, six acres. I know it don't seem like a lot, you know, but I already got already got everything in the field, fertilizing chemical. And if those spots ain't going to produce something, that's uh, zero dollars you get back off of it. So I might as well put some beans back. That's that's if it needs it. Like I say, we'll give it a give it a week. Get everything work good. And come back and do some stand counts. And see actually how good or poor a stand it is. Hopefully it's a lot it's a lot better than I think it is. We'll find out. Alright, change fields. So this is 30 inch rows. Uh, the field over there, that's what we checkerboarded, or split row plant. So they should technically come out to be 15 inch rows. These are 30s. And this is the field that was super wet yesterday. So I saved it for last. We're about to jump into it, see if we can get done. Two thirds of this field is sprayed, and 
we have gotten out of the bad grass. This back here is relatively clean. The only thing we got is volunteer corn. That's the big clumps of grass you see. That's actually corn. stocks right there. I'm going to brush in the edge of the ditch. And you can look right here. So right about here behind where the truck, where the spray wheels are, all the way over to the ditch. I had water up in the field on this side. Looks like I had about water about that far up into the corn too. And the way this farm sets, it has water drains, three drains that it has. This right here to my right. And it's draining see it's draining to the east it's got another drain that goes down the tree line and it's got that ditch other side of this other side of this cornfield drains that way so everything oh man and within a couple square miles of them trees that way drains through here a couple square miles north of here drains through this ditch and i think probably a square mile over here drains down that way Actually, the ditch goes this, goes up and there, goes around in trees. So everything square mile up there drains down. So there's quite a bit of water close to this farm when you have those heavy rains. Does that wash all the stalks around? Part of it. But I'm gonna go jump on the road and it'll catch up y'all here in a little bit. So if y'all missed that, that guy's riding in the middle of the road. He must be doing a little Saturday, you know, have a little, have a little fun on Saturday. Yeah. If uh, I'm in the ditch, you should scoot over too, you know. It's fair, it's fair, it's only fair, you know. Oh me. Well, we're back safe. Ish, taping up, I guess. Find a spark to park this rig. Maybe we'll change what we're doing. Mm. 
fuel pump sounds like junk. That's what we need. That needs to go out. So I can't find no one in. Bet you get another hand pump out. We managed to get one load up here. We're going to head back to get another one. Hmm. Well, I hit another car. That would have been my fault. Because that dig the Jeep was on the wrong side of the road. You could clearly see that his driver's tire was over the yellow lines. I mean, he didn't even scoot over. It ain't gonna hurt this tractor if he hits me. I mean, yeah, it's gonna tear it up. But it's gonna throw him out of that Jeep. Bunch of, bunch of morons. That's what I'll say about that. stand on it. I'm loading, putting a bell on one side and then we're going to go around for the bell on the other side. I'm trying to keep the plate even so it doesn't twist the frame or blow the jack out anymore. When I unhook it, I put a, I put a block of wood down and then I got the uh, X set where I only have to let it let the foot down like two notches in high enough to unload the tractor. I'm telling that to keep it, keep the jack short. That way it doesn't put stress on it and make it lean. We ain't carrying a big old bike either. We're carrying a eight on trailer. One on, the, one on the front of the tractor makes nine though. Yeah, usually we haul like 13 on the trailer. Still be under our load, our load on the front. We got her loaded, we're good to go. We got her, we had it loaded to nothing, anyways. And on the front, on the plus side, uh, the hay not turned out good, there's a lot less hay to pick up. Get that faster. That's always positive. Last load up here that I'm gonna move today. It's a good place to stop. I haven't got a quarter to move yet. But we did get a good start. Had quite a bit of day too. We look right over there. Yes, you got that hay rolled up. That was wet, got it flipped up. He flipped, flipped some of it up yesterday, or he did. And then he finished flipping it today. And it's an hour rolling. Finally, get that good June heat. <coughs> and it's finally got one enough today, though. But the AC in this truck ain't working super well. I mean, it's cold, cool, but it ain't, it ain't real cold. Well, that's got us for today. I gotta go get some groceries. Well, if y'all have enjoyed it, remember like and subscribe. And like always, the good Lord's willing, catch you on the flip side.
Until next.